Welcome back to the JVZoo video tutorial. In this video, we're going to be doing sales funnels. Now, just to refresh your memory, a sales funnel is a list of linked products that basically follow a tree. And if you think about a tree turned on its side, that's the best way to think about it. The front end product, the first product that people are buying is the trunk of the tree. Then after they buy that, they are presented with an upsell. That's the first branch. This is something additional for them to buy. You can have a further upsell after that, which is more branch, or you can even have a downsell. So if they say no thanks to the upsell, you can give them a downsell, which is another product that they only see if they click no thanks. It may be a discount on the upsell. It may be a reduced version of the upsell that's a lower price, whatever. You can then have upsells and downsells off of those. It can get confusing very quickly, and you'll see that when I show you the Graphics Booster funnel. Um, there really is no easy way to get unconfused other than doing this and just maybe mapping it out on paper or in a mind map and then duplicating the mind map within the sales funnel. Sales funnels are found under Sellers, Sales Funnels. When we go there, you'll see probably a blank screen if you haven't set any up yet. There is a video tutorial on how to set up sales funnels. I'm going to go into the way that I do it because it's actually a little bit different than the way JVZoo does it. And I have set up some very complex sales funnels. Um, below here, you see a list of sales funnels. I have the, on my account, I have them blanked out um, because Basically, it's none of your business. But if you want to create a new sales funnel, you click the big yellow Add a Sales Funnel button here. So let's go into the Graphics Booster launch. Here you can see the stats on everything within the funnel, all of the products total together, how many sold, what the conversion rate was, what the EPC, which is earnings per customer, is. In other words, if 1,000 people went to the sales page and 500 bought, uh, you take the 500 times the price and divide it by 1,000 people, and that gives you the earnings per customer. The average price of the entire purchase through the funnel and commission and refund percentages. So let's go into this funnel right now. On their sales funnel page, it has three sections. The first is the name of the sales funnel, which you just give it whatever name you want. You're the only one that sees it. It's internal. And this is where you add your front end product. You pull this menu down and you're going to get a list of all of the products in your JVZoo account. You pick the product that you want to have as your front end product. I will tell you right now, it is possible and even frequent for the funnels I've created to have more than one front end product. That may be, in fact, in this launch, there is more than one front end product because of different license versions that we give people a choice of on the sales page. What you'll see once you add the front end product is you'll see the start of this tree getting filled in. Here we see the name of the front end product that you just added. All of these other boxes will be empty. But what we see here is the completed funnel. When someone buys Graphics Booster Personal, they are then sent into the funnel. The green side is the upsell, and the red side is the downsell. So after they've bought the personal usage license, they are presented a new sales page for this product, the Graphics Booster Developer and Resale License. If they say no thanks and they click the no thanks link at the bottom of the page, they are taken to a downsell where they can buy just the developer license for a lower price. If they buy the upsell, then they're taken to this upsell, where they can buy the private label rights for Graphics Booster plus two additional private label rights packages. If they say no thanks, it takes them to this product, which gives them an offer of private label rights for Graphics Booster only without these bonus packages. If they buy this, then they're taken to an offer for the Graphics Booster PLR Club. If they buy the downsell here, they get the same PLR Club offer. And we have a similar tree coming off of this downsell. Now there is one quirk in this. Well, actually there are a lot of quirks, but the one I'm going to tell you about right now is a downsell off of a downsell. For a number of reasons, 
This is not allowed in JVZoo's system. You can only have an upsell off of a downsell. So how do I have this here? Well, you can add it, but JVZoo's system will not automatically send no thanks traffic from here to here. If you use JVZoo's no thanks link for this particular product in the funnel, it will send the buyer to their receipt page and they'll miss all of this. What you need to do in that case is on the sales page for this product, you need to not use JVZoo's automatically generated no thanks link, which I'll show you how to get in just a second. You need to link directly to the sales page for this product. That's how you bypass this product. Anytime you want to do a downsell off of a downsell, you need to link directly to the sales page for the second downsell. And you would just put that on the no thanks link that is at the bottom of your sales page. Now, as I mentioned, I have more than one front end product on this funnel. I also have a different license, which we can see at some point down here. Oh, you know what? Actually, I'm thinking of a different funnel. This funnel only has one front end item. But let's just say that we wanted to have the Graphics Booster 5 user license. That would be another front end item. We would pull down the front end product, pull down, pick that product, which we've already set up on the, on the um, seller's dashboard page, and we would add it to the sales funnel. You won't see it here because this only shows one front end product with the tree after it. You will see it in this chart down here though, and it will say F slash E as front end. When I create a sales funnel, I rarely pay attention to this chart because I already have a chart drawn out either on paper or on a mind map, or maybe even in my own head because I've set up so many of these. I pay attention to this chart. This is where all of the products that you have added are at. And you need to use this chart after you add a front end product anyway. So as you can see, like for this product right here, this is one of the back end products. It's used as an upsell or a downsell. Over here, we have nothing selected as a downsell. This is where you pull this menu down and you pick whatever product you want to have as this product's downsell and you click the add button. If you have another front end product, you would just duplicate. Uh, once you add that there, you'll see it like Graphics Booster 5 user license. It'll say F slash E and it will have a pull down menu here and a pull down menu here in both spaces. You would pick the exact same product for its upsell as your first front end had. Duplicate it. The same, duplicate the downsell. And that way, whether they buy the personal usage license or this other fictional five user license, they'll be sent along the same upsell and downsell path, whichever one of the front end items they buy. So you just add another front end item and duplicate the upsell and downsell from the existing front end item. That's how you can stack those together. It's very easy if you have multiple front end items. It gets more and more complex as you go down the funnel. For example, if your first upsell has multiple licenses, then you have to add the rest of the tree for each of those licenses as it goes down and so on. So there's no real elegant solution. Like I said, the best way to learn this is by doing, but this is how it's set up. And I can see um, very quickly, this is the front end product. If someone buys this upsell, the Graphics Booster Developer Resale License, I can look down the list and find that. This is the next upsell they'll see from that product. And this is the downsell. From this, the Graphics Booster PLR plus two PLR packages, that's right here and someone who buys that will get this as the upsell. Any buy buttons that you need are found in here, and I'll cover those in the next video.